can hear me on this? No. Yeah. Closer? How's that? Is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'll do my best. Um, thanks for giving me the chance to do something I've never done before, which is to give a talk in my coat and my socks. <laughs> yes, so always nice to have something new. Um, the, the fundamental problem with climate change is that it's not just about what we do, it's also about what we don't do. And in fact, what we don't do tends to be rather more important in terms of dealing with climate change than what we do. And this is a problem for several reasons. First, because it offends the sense of agency. And that's perhaps an even more fundamental myth of humanity than the American dream is, that we are powerful beings and that we can change things by continually amplifying our presence on Earth, that we can um, constantly do things bigger and better and flashier and that will solve everything. And of course, what climate change says is, what, is that we've got to do less of many things and that we've got to do things more quietly than before and it offends a very fundamental thing in, in the human psyche which is that great sense of human egotism that uh, that actually we are a very big very loud species and and that our virtues lie in being very big and very loud but in the more immediate sense it creates a political problem which is as follows that it's not so much about the new technologies you get into or uh, the new businesses you might stimulate. It's about the old ones you get out of. And the key task, as far as climate change is concerned, is getting out of fossil fuels. It's not getting into wind, it's not getting into solar, it's not getting into nuclear or any of the other low carbon options. Um, it is, to some extent, of course, getting into energy efficiency and lower use and the rest of it. But the fundamental task behind that is to get out of oil, gas, coal, tar sands, other unconventionals, to get out of the, the fossil fuels which are the main driver of climate change. And that's when you run into your political difficulty. And at the moment, governments have tried to square that difficulty, both the, the last government and the current one, by pretending that it doesn't really exist, by pretending that there is not a conflict between the aims of climate change and, and the aims of